Today, we have some exciting and frankly pretty surprising news about the much anticipated Samsung Galaxy S25 series. If you're a tech enthusiast, you'll want to stick around as we dive into the details regarding the chipsets that will be powering these flagship devices. Now, in typical Samsung fashion, there was some speculation about whether the Galaxy S25 would utilize Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, Samsung's own Exynos 2500, or even a potential newcomer in the chip landscape. Well, guess what? Hubo might have just settled that debate for us. Traditionally, Samsung has followed a dual-chip strategy. This means that some of their flagship models are equipped with Qualcomm's premium Snapdragon processors, while others come with their in-house designed Exynos chips. However, reports indicate that this year, Samsung's faced a bit of a roadblock. It seems the Exynos 2500 is off the table for the Galaxy S25 series. Why you ask? Well, it all comes down to low production yields. Essentially, this means that when manufacturing these chips, not enough of them are coming out usable, leading to potential supply chain issues. On the flip side, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, while a powerful option, won't be used across the board either. Reports suggest that this chip is going to be at least 20% more expensive than its predecessor, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. In an effort to keep the price point of the S25 lineup attractive to consumers, Samsung might not go down that route. So what's the solution, you might ask? It looks like Samsung is turning to MediaTek as a potential partner for this upcoming lineup. This was hinted at in a rumor back in June and has seen some confirmation now. According to notes from Google DeepMind, it seems a flagship Dimensity chipset is making its way into a Samsung phone. This could very well mean that the Galaxy S25 series will have a MediaTek option. Now, you may be thinking, wait, has Samsung ever used MediaTek in their flagship devices? The answer is yes, but primarily for lower tier models. But times are changing. In fact, Samsung has already demonstrated that it's open to integrating MediaTek's powerful chipsets into premium products, such as the recently unveiled Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and Tab S10 Ultra, both of which utilize the Dimensity 9300 Plus. So it's not that big of a leap. Now, if Samsung follows through with this MediaTek strategy, it seems likely that only the base and plus models might feature a MediaTek chip, potentially in only select markets. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, which promises to deliver a performance edge, possibly in comparison to Apple's iPhone 16 Pro's A18 Pro. Now, while MediaTek chips may not hold the same prestige as Qualcomm, to the average consumer, the company has been showcasing some impressive tech recently. The Ruhr Dimensity 9400 chip is set to carry more transistors than any current chip on the market, which would translate to faster speeds and better overall performance. Samsung seems to be navigating through a minefield of options quite strategically here. They're making sure that if they don't want to push the Galaxy S25 line in higher price brackets, something that could scare off potential buyers as we've seen with the Galaxy Z Flip 6 and Fold 6, they need to be smart about their chipset choices. So what do you think? Are you excited about the possibility of MediaTek chips in high-end devices? Will this impact your buying decision come launch time? Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more updates, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving, with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or it more completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button. 
which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new camera control button. This physical key equipped with a capacitive surface allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably. But the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side. Battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, 
offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.